Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Virtual Riot and um, today we're going to be looking at the first songs I've ever produced. Luckily, before I moved to LA, I uh, collected a lot of them from my old devices and old hard drives and old computers and I kept them and I have them on my laptop at the moment. Oh god, so I think the oldest one I found is from 2007, so that's 11 years old. I was 13? Yeah. Oh god, here we go. some free synth and I think the drums is e ERS drums or something. No, that's Dramatic 2 or Dramatic 3, oh god. I mean, it's, there's no wrong notes, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, yeah, that was 11 years ago. Um, I don't even know if I had a like MIDI keyboard back then. Um, so then, a little bit after that, in 2009, when I was 15, I got a Korg X50 as my first MIDI keyboard, and the Korg X50 actually had some sounds built into it, so it was actually the keyboard Linkin Park uses for their live shows. What I did was, I had a MIDI cable, and I would, uh, like, click MIDI clips, then send the MIDI to the keyboard, pick a sound, and then record the audio output from the keyboard back into my computer. So that's where most of these sounds come from. Oh, wait. Hey, filtering. Oh god, yeah, so the drums all came from the synth because I didn't have a drum plug-in. I think I had battery three, maybe, because my brother gave me that. But yeah, stuff from that time all sounds like that. I tried to make something with the distorted guitar presets. <laughs> No, we'll stop that right there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I even uploaded these to MySpace back then. Yeah, and these are from 2009. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to hear any more of these. Oh, this one's kind of okay, I guess. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> this is when I found the cutoff knob. I had no idea what anything in a synth did back then, so I was like, oh, this one makes it go wow. So. <laughs> so that was like the only automation lane in the entire track. <laughs> cool. L yeah, uh, learning features about these synths one step at a time, I guess. Ah, uh, these song names. Oh, this is one of the first ones even. This, I think I started this at a friend's place trying to get him excited about music production. Only on the right, for some reason. That could actually be like a fair the Prodigy riff of that time, if it was produced better. After that, it's slowly getting better. When did I start understanding what the hell I was doing? No, these are already 2011, 2010. Where's my first dubstep track? I think the first dubstep track I did actually came up somewhere. No, it did not, wait, where did it go? Um, it was, is it, do I have it? No, damn it. I tried to make dubstep only using a Nord Rack 2. Ah, oh, I lost the project file. I think, I think the oldest dubstep song I have that I did is uh, this one. I'll skip ahead a little bit. All 
right, uh, very relaxing. At least I think I made that preset. That's not a massive preset. So that was, um, when was that? I think that was 2012. It doesn't say it here, but I think that was 2012 or 11, somewhere around there. Oh God, thanks for listening to this atrocious stuff with me. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do this again another day because uh, there's so much more <laughs> terrible shit from back in the day. Uh, thank you for enjoying this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>